why picking a fight with the A-10 Warthog is basically asking for trouble. So, you're thinking about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the A-10 Warthog? Well, buckle up because you're in for a wild ride. Emphasis on wild, since the A-10 isn't just any old fighter jet. It's a flying fortress, a veritable airborne tank, and going up against it is akin to bringing a butter knife to a chainsaw fight. Let's dive into why any future conflict involving this behemoth is a comedic tragedy waiting to happen. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, looks like it was designed by a committee that couldn't decide if they wanted to build a tank or a plane, so they went with both. It's armored to the teeth, boasting a titanium bathtub that protects the pilot like a medieval knight's armor. If tanks had wings, they'd probably ask for autographs from the A-10. The sound of the A-10's GAU-8 Avenger rotary cannon is not so much heard as it is felt in the soul. The burrrt it makes isn't just a sound effect, it's a declaration of doom for anyone on the receiving end. It's the sound of inevitability, the auditory equivalent of, I told you so. When you hear it, it's usually too late to reconsider your life choices. Durability more like invincibility. The A-10 is famously tough, capable of sustaining significant damage and still flying home. It's like that one old gadget you have that just won't die no matter how many times you drop it. The Warthog can lose half a wing, an engine, and look like it's been through a paper shredder, yet still fly like it's just another day at the office. The A-10 is not just a plane, it's a celebrity with a massive fan base. Proposing to cut it from the military's lineup leads to public outcry reminiscent of canceling a beloved TV show. Its retirement has been postponed so many times, it's basically the share of the aviation world, always on a farewell tour, but never actually leaving. While other jets pride themselves on speed and stealth, the A-10 strolls into battle casually, like someone walking into a fast food place five minutes before closing. It's not in a hurry because it doesn't need to be. It's there to get the job done, and get it done, it will, albeit at a pace that ensures everyone can appreciate the fireworks. In essence, trying to engage the A-10 in combat is like trying to swat a honey badger with a fly swatter. It's not just a bad idea, it's a change-your-name-and-move-to-another-country level of bad idea. The Warthog isn't just a participant in the battlefield. It's an apex predator with wings. So the next time you hear the earth-shaking burt overhead, remember, some battles are just meant to be watched, preferably from a very safe distance. All right, so you've not yet been dissuaded from going up against the A-10 Warthog. Perhaps you need more convincing or a better sense of humor. Here are more reasons why attempting to best this aerial juggernaut is as wise as eating soup with a fork. The A-10 isn't just good at one thing, it's good at a lot of things all at the same time. Ground support, forward air control, and attacking armored vehicles are all in a day's work. This plane doesn't just multitask, it multi-annihilates. It's like trying to compete in a triathlon against someone who finishes it before you've even signed up. While newer planes boast about their stealth capabilities, the A-10 rolls up with all of the subtlety of a brass band in a library. It's loud, it's proud, and it really doesn't care if you see it coming because by the time you do, it's already too late. It's the flying equivalent of saying, I'm going to count to three and you're going to be in trouble, and then delivering spectacularly at two. In an era where technology becomes obsolete faster than a meme, the A-10 just keeps chugging along. Designed in the 1970s and still going strong, it's like that old rock band that everyone thought would retire but keeps topping the charts. Why? Because classics never die. They just reload and come back stronger. Let's talk about the pilots for a second. You have to be a particular kind of fearless to strap yourself into a flying tank and go hunting for tanks on the ground. A-10 pilots are less like traditional pilots and more like knights of the round table. If the round table could fly and had a penchant for destruction, in an age where cost-effectiveness is as important as effectiveness-effectiveness, the A-10 is surprisingly economical. It's the budget-friendly option in air support, proving that you don't need to spend billions to make a billion-dollar impact. This isn't just throwing money at a problem, it's throwing a very specific, very terrifying type of money that explodes on impact. Engaging with the A-10 in any conflict is like trying to beat Google at the search engine game. It's not just a tall order, it's an impossible one. 
The warthog embodies the spirit of bring it on with a side of, are you sure about that? So if you find yourself pondering a skirmish, remember, some legends walk on two legs, others fly with wings, and the A-10, it does both with a smile and that unforgettable brrrt.